Taurus and all of a sudden it makes sense. This is a beautiful, sexy, sensual week for you. We're going to get into why. I'm going to go over the astrology. And of course, we're going to get into the cards. Taurus, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Row. It is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. There's just an outpouring of love. It's like it backed itself up and now it's all coming out for you. Yes, Yes, beautiful energy. Look how many cards are already on the table. Um, there's always an extended reading, guys. Please remember, and I hope that you'll join me for it. I will attach the links down below in the description box right at the top so you can see it as well. I will pin the links to the top of the comment section, and I hope that you will join me. Also, you can join the Unbound membership to this channel and get unlimited access to every extended reading, not just Taurus, all 12 every single week. It's like you have the secret door into the hidden born without boundaries tarot because you get all the channel perks too um join me join me tomorrow um, on my second youtube channel it's called astrology motivation i'll attach the link above and you can talk to me live chat daily day i do daily tarot card readings over there live chats and i hope that you'll join me for those um really psyched about 6,000 followers of subscribers over there. I'm so grateful and so proud of the growth we've had over there. And remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Taurus content comes out every single Thursday at 8 a.m. This is a lot. So let me tell you about the astrology as I organize the cards, but I don't want to mess them up. I want to see because this is a cascade, which means something all of a sudden just like an outpouring. All of a sudden it just cascaded, it just came out. Like that's that's what's happening. It's just like a, it's like a deluge. All of a sudden something floods or something flows. And this is really extraordinary energy. So we have two things that are majorly affecting you. First of all, your first house and the planets and energies that are in the first house and then where Venus is. Now, Venus is forming a beautiful, Venus is in Virgo where it is in detriment, which means it's open and it's vulnerable and highly susceptible to kind of deception or getting lost in its own fairy tales, um, especially because of uh, its opposition to Neptune right now or becoming a fairy tale of somebody like of people just completely and totally losing themselves around you because after all uh, Virgo is your fifth house it's your fifth house so that's where your romance is your heart is there's a really beautiful energy your ruling uh, dignitary is at detriment there but it's still your fifth house and so ultimately there's just a sense of your vulnerability and your sensuality really coming out this week why because Venus is trying to Pluto which is all about really like being being just deep and sultry and sensual and sexual and very very like like just erotic energy and then you also have a trine to Uranus which means that people's opinions of you people's values of you have changed maybe your values of other people have changed maybe this is just a sense of a really romantic period where you do have a, an opportunity or a chance to actually have sensuality sexuality coming in either way you are extremely attractive right now to the point where you are probably getting lost in dreams whether it's theirs or yours you have almost become kind of like a a dream and even though the things that happen to you this week may not last I think the memories that they create will and this is just sort of an outpouring which means what it means that honestly you guys the flow has begun <laughs> I know technical difficult the flow has begun suddenly the there's there's like a waterfall think about it there's an outpouring and a push and then the flow has begun that's all that's all I can get right now but let's let's just get into the cards um we have set healthy boundaries, Taurus, which is your boundaries were up, your walls were up, they were constructed, you knew your standards. Um, also a sense of maybe being a little bit more defensive than you needed to be, but ultimately you wanted to make sure, uh, I don't know, you, you had to set boundaries with somebody. Okay, let's move on. We had to say watch and wait. Um, this is a Pisces energy. It's almost like you didn't wanna let yourself feel things because you kind of felt like there was some toxicity going on here definitely there was something tempting there was something 
excuse me, there was something tempting that was happening to you and you wanted to just first see, I think you didn't trust it. You were very guarded around it. Time to heal this snake energy, its own, yeah, what, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Let's just keep going for right now. Be peace. We have um, um, kind of like a white flag being, being risen, right? Like, oh, let's just like call a truce and make peace. Okay, balance it out. And then we have believe in yourself, your ability to be able to create peace with the decisions that you make. This is also Virgo energy. So Virgo, maybe start at of the start at Vir maybe at the start of Virgo season. This is just all coming out so fucking quickly, God. God, believe in yourself, your ability to be able to build bridges, your ability to be able to make something happen. You were guarded, you were aware of it, you were like, oh my God, um, I have to be wary of it. I have to do something. I have to get involved. I have to, I have to build this bridge. I have to stop the terrible from happening. I don't want this to become toxic. This peace offering comes out. This could also be, this could have also been your work, working on something, working on deciding to develop peace or create peace. Then there's take a leap of faith, which is also luck energy. So a sense of jumping right in, not thinking. You knew there was a need for something and so you jumped right into it. This is also a sense of take a leap of faith. This is, the, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it didn't make sense, you knew that God was going to work out for you. You, you, you knew that somehow it was, God was going to work out for you. It was going to like, like the blessings were on their way. Surrender now. This is a second energy of, I'm just going to jump right in. Now I think this already happened, which is why I'm really excited. And there's a sense of you really had followed your momentum. You really had followed your flow. This was not an energy Taurus about, um, um, conciseness or preciseness or strategy. You were so connected, so deeply connected to faith. And this is definitely Venus trying um, Pluto, where you are very deeply connected to faith. You know, this is the time I'm going to follow this because I know that some sort of psychically, whatever it is, this is just the right thing to do. Um, I could feel it or something that just swept you up. You got swept up in a wave. You And, and it honestly, the momentum has just followed from there. Um, and then we have use your mind wisely. So with this leap of faith, with your decision to just jump in and go with the flow, with your decision to just go for it because you knew it was important and to try to set these boundaries, stop something bad from happening, settle something, make peace with something, create like a flow with something, whatever the fuck it was, it worked because it legitimately, it seems like the impossible has happened. And you are now going to experience like when pigs fly, the moment like when pigs fly, this is something like almost fucking magical that is going to happen in your life. Be here now, it's happening in the present time. It's like, it's like something little, something small. It's going to, it's going to be right there. You're going to spot it. It's in front. It's in front of you right there, right now. It's happening now. This is the now. This is the current moment. This has been cascading for a while and spirit has your back because you followed in spirit's message. And this is what happens when you trust spirit, spirit will reward you. And this is a sense of that Saturnian energy, that sense of authority, that sense of you are being rewarded. You are being rewarded for, um, a job well done. You're being rewarded for um, taking your leap of faith. You're being rewarded for just showing up and doing all that you could do. You're being rewarded. You're being rewarded. You're being rewarded. The authorities that be in your life, the powers that be, um, are now basically making the decision to do something that really everybody may have thought was impossible, but it's not impossible. Remember, it's only impossible until it isn't. And all of a sudden now you're going to watch the impossible come true. When pigs fly is happening right in front of you, let the momentum continue to carry you. You know, I'm going to say this to you. You know, you want to trust this, trust it. Don't ask questions. Just keep going. This is absolutely going to happen. Something has now right now in front of you before you it's clicked into place. So let's get into the specifics. What is this with regards to let's stop talking generalities. 
let's stop talking generalities what has this got to do with lovers this has got to do with your relationship with somebody could have to do with a gemini it could have to do with just lovers there is something that you're so attracted to it's so powerful it's pulling you in it's sucking you in and i'm telling you taurus that because this is such a fucking wave this is like a tsunami there's nowhere you can go there's nowhere you can run these emotions are going to be like an outpouring you're just going to flow right into it. It's just happened. The lovers are here. They, they are meant to be. This is such an attraction. It's got to do with, it's got to do with love. It's got to do with love. This is not usually a romance reading, but I got to tell you, I feel like the rest of the reading is just going to happen this way too. It's got to do with some sort of romance. I don't care if you're fucking married. I don't care if you're fucking engaged. I don't care if you haven't been with somebody in 20 years. All I know is there is this huge, like, just like, <laughs> Foosh, deluge that you just like bam it's something that overwhelmingly the attraction it, you can't ignore it you can't ignore it because it's faded you can't ignore it because it's designed by god you can't ignore it because because you won't ignore it I mean, look, at the, I asked a simple question. You guys saw me. You were watching me. This isn't a fucking magic trick. Like, this is legit. So what is this about? The lovers come out. What, what is this? I, I want to understand. What is the snake here for? What is the snake energy for? You wanted to heal something. You wanted to heal something. I think love is going to prevail. That's what it is. It may not even be like love romance. Let's let's go more general for right now. It may not be, even be love romance, but you're the one that brought love back into the situation. You're the one that whoop, swooped in and deluge everybody. Now there's love where there used to not be love. You're the one that made them see or made people realize all you need is love. Now, the snake was, yes, defensive. You, you, wanted, you wanted to defend against toxicity. You were done with the toxicity. You were sick of it. You didn't want any more toxicity. You don't want to feel this kind of energy. Or it's, you could think of the snake as the great temptation, like the devil energy. But that, don't think of it that way. It's just like sexy, sensual, your sensuality. That part of you that kind of like is, is sensual. You, were, you, didn't, you didn't want to look at it. Maybe you were scared of it. You were scared of your own sexiness. You were scared of your own sensuality. Maybe you were scared of this toxicity. Maybe you were scared somebody was drinking too much because we've got Pisces energy right next to the snake. You were scared about overindulging or you wanted to set boundaries to make sure because you realize, you know what, I need to heal. You know, there is sickness here. There is something here that I need to, that I need to fight against, that I need to stop, that I need to block. I need to start setting boundaries for myself. And in choosing to do that, I don't know, maybe that's what opened the floodgates because here we are, we have peace. We have all of a sudden, it's like you're seeing it start to work. You're seeing it start to change your life. You're seeing it start to open up doors for you that you didn't expect or even ask to be opened for you. And then we have this lucky shift, this lucky change. What is this change? Take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. You are legitimately, this is saying, you. This is, this is when you achieve the impossible. Something that you thought was not going to happen is now happened because a twist of a miracle or a, a, a decision that an authority figure made that you did not expect, but it was made. And all of a sudden it's like, it's like, it's like spotting, it's like somebody spots you, somebody sees you. <laughs> somebody sees you out of the corner of their fucking eye. And you could have been aiming at something different. But because you were there, because you showed up, because you went with the flow. So this is definitely a week you've got to trust your instincts. And just let stuff happen. Whatever you're attracted to, go for it. You definitely wanted to bring love into the into the situation, and I believe that you succeeded. Holy shit! This was too much for me. This is overwhelming energy. Emotions are running high because this is fucking intense. It started around the full moon. <coughs> it started around the full moon. It started near near or near or about around and about Saturday. 
because that's when the full moon in Pisces happened and you had to just purge all these emotions and all this toxicity. I think you had to let go of the toxicity in order to, and then because you let go of the toxicity, the floodgates opened up and now all of a sudden everything is open for you. The amount of sweep, the, the progress that was made just in that decision of allowing your emotions to pour outward or that Pisces full moon, something, ha something happened and bam, you, you let go what was holding you back. You, you, you stopped whatever you knew was toxic. You allowed yourself to forgive yourself and set boundaries to never do it again. Or there was just this sense, yeah, yeah, I'm going to stick with that. Emotions are, emotions are running high. Such an outpouring of emotion. I mean, I, I don't think that you've ever realized how beautiful and attractive you are until this week. Even if you have a sense of high self-esteem, that doesn't fucking matter. What matters is I don't think you ever realized how much you were loved, how popular you were, how attractive you are until this fucking week. Holy shit. Taurus, and this is you again. This is your sensuality. This is your sexuality. This is that visceral kind of like enjoyment, pleasure. But this is you. It's you. Emotions are running high for you. Not only happy birthday, Doug Denny. Not only are you happy, but all of a sudden it's like people are happy with you. They want you. They see your value. I wanted to read this. Hold on. I wanted to read this because I know it's important. Sorry about this, guys. Where is this? I'm going to find it as soon as I stop looking for it. I know it. It's the written in the stars. No. All right, I'm just going to continue because I'm not finding what I want. I wanted to read the guidebook, the guidebook for this deck. I know I have it. Oh, it's just so frustrating. It's just so frustrating because I know this is part of the message. You know what? I will definitely read it in the extended. I know this is all part of the message. Damn. Guys, this is what happens when you move. This is definitely what happens when you move. Everything starts to be in places that you didn't you didn't you don't remember because everything starts to get moved around. So, okay. Now we're getting into the space of I think this is the setup of how something happened. What is this emotional withdrawal? Somebody was setting boundaries with you or you were setting boundaries with them. You didn't want to let yourself feel something. You didn't want to let yourself feel something maybe because, and maybe you'd started drinking too much or somebody had started drinking. Maybe that's be why, because there was toxicity. It's almost like you were very guarded with what you allowed yourself to feel about this person, this situation, because you knew there was something a little bit off. There was something extremely attractive, but there was also something a little bit off. Rest and rejuvenate your ability to allow yourself to take time, take your space, to just put your feet up just put your feet up and, and ground yourself, ground your energy so that if things weren't so chaotic and everything started to make sense in your brain again. This is a very solid, wonderful decision that you made. It's also saying this week, take time. Take time for relaxation. Take time to rejuvenate yourself. Allow, allow yourself to allow whatever is about to happen. And then we have the waiting game is here. Yeah, the waiting game is like, what is that? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? It's like you've been waiting. You've been sitting there and waiting for something. What have they been waiting for? What has Taurus been waiting for? What has Taurus been waiting for? This celebration, this happiness, this abundance, this new start, this new beginning. And you're going to get it. You're not going to have to wait very long. This is this week. So this is three. 
three people, maybe three people coming together, a party coming, people celebrating you, people celebrating you and giving you an op openly, openly giving you an opportunity. This is happiness. A new start, a new beginning, a new opportunity, a new idea, a new passion, maybe bringing three people together or just, I don't know, whatever this is, but this, this is like, it's going to be good. You're meeting up with the right people at just the right time, a new idea, a new opportunity, new inspiration. And it came from a place of being angry and pissed and upset and maybe just dealing with something very emotional, but it just push like you pushed it there's this wave of just forward progress and you just wait i feel like people are celebrating you that's what i feel like i feel like there's this huge outpouring of finally celebrating and you've you've waited for this you've waited for somebody to actually see your talents and see your skills and celebrate them and validate them and this is all happening let me get you exactly let me get exactly when the time frame is happening and I'll try to find that book too. Hold on, Taurus. We're going to go the extended. I'll see you guys there.